Okay, so I had some time today to sneak some work in on my own rig. Um, a while back, I had a video of uh, attempting to build uh, an intercooler mount, and I just really didn't like how it turned out. Um, so this now is what I came up with. Um, it's a lot more solid. Um, so it's got these two tabs that weld straight to the, the tubing here. Um, piece of three quarter 120 wall tubing. Um, and these are these are three quarter um, OD DOM with uh, what would that be? 188 wall, so that the ID is 38, so the bolt fits snug. So there's no rock. You can see these bolts are barely tight, and this actually had to um, run a drill bit through that because the bolt just didn't quite want to go. So it mounts the intercooler um, kind of the same way with the original little bosses. This is just a cheap eBay intercooler, but it came with these four bosses welded on. I don't have the bottom bolts in right now, but there'll be bolts right there as well. Um, so basically I've got one bracket, comes off the top of the tube, wraps around, grabs the two top bolts. And then these, these parts, I put a, put about a half inch flange. So it's bent 90 degrees Got where it met there. It's welded back together, um, to make that as stiff as I can make it. And then it bends and wraps around and basically the shape of this under the inner cooler. Um, it's the same as the top, so it's got the same look. Yeah, so that's that. Um, I'm still kind of going through different ideas for the plumbing. Um, got a bunch of different random uh, couplers. But most likely what's going to happen... This will be a, a 45, you know, aiming at the, uh, the hat. And it'll be a 90. And then there'll have to be a little straight section, but something like that. Um, either that or I may, um, I'm lucky I have a, uh, a company nearby that can do really nice uh, mandrel bins and tubing. So I might make a pattern and have, you know, one long piece and just have, you know, a coupler and a coupler. That's, I know that's a lot better way to go. Um, and really that's probably what it's going to take to make it fit nice. Because unfortunately, for my first idea was to come out and kind of run, basically follow this tube, come out and then come up over the top right here. But my sway bar arm, um, I have a feeling would hit it. Unfortunately, uh, you know, when you're working with a samurai, there's not a lot of room. And I've got a lot of crap crammed into a small space. Um, but anyway, so that's how it's sitting. I kind of got it tipped at the same angle as the radiator to try to give it give it the look that uh, it was all planned out together, which it clearly wasn't. Um, you know, these tabs will be painted the same color, same gray, and I'm most likely gonna paint all this bracket black. Um, I think this one looks a lot better than the first one. Um, you know, this is all exposed outside the hood, but it's a lot less bulky than that sheet metal one I had um, built before. I think once that bracket's painted black, it'll look okay. But once you uh, get back from it a little bit, I think it looks fine. You know, if you if you really got a sharp eye, the thing is offset. It's not centered in the car, which bugs me a little. Um, but it's just the only way it'll fit. I've got this pretty big um, power steering um, reservoir. Um, and so this guy is only, you know, but this back corner underneath, it's only got about a 316 inch gap. 
Um, and then, you know, the hose coupler just kind of clears all this stuff. So it's all just real tight. Basically had to, I put a couple hose ends on there and just set the thing in place. And then it just had to be where it had to be. Um, this is the biggest intercooler I could have possibly fit in here. But, you know, it's going to work. Um, these were just temporary brackets. These are going to get cut off. Um, I used to have a, like a 12 inch light bar, LED light bar in here. Um, but between the light bar and that intercooler, if I was to leave the light bar in place, that's really choking down the airflow to the radiator. So light bar's got to go. Um, I have a set of the, like the, the, like the two by two LED pods. I'm going to build a bracket and stick them right in here. Um, these lights are actually pretty good. Um, a lot of the times I run with just those and it, it's, it's enough for the most case, for the most part. But when you get out in the desert in the dark, you know, the more, the better, the more lights, the better. Um, I'd like to have something cool on top. I really like those KC pods where you'd have like five, seven or whatever would fit lights across the top, but that's out of my budget. And, uh, this thing ends up upside down too often to put that expensive of a light setup on it. Um, I've got my mirrors off right now, but I have kind of like the classic desert race little hoop mirrors. Um, and I had it, my pods mounted up there, but I didn't really like how that worked out. Um, they're just too high above the ground and just made them uh, too spotty, too, the light was just too concentrated with a small spot beam light like that. I find it works better if you have them lower. That way the light kind of fans out across the ground better. But that's it for uh, the update on this thing. Um, kind of my next step is uh, getting this motor pulled out and uh, I have another video coming up that'll kind of explain why here in the next couple of days. But um, this motor's got too much compression and the wrong, I mean, it, this engine's not ideal for a turbo. Um, I think it's kind of, I think it would be kind of on the edge um, compression wise. Um, and it's got like a real high RPM cam in it. And what I'm really trying to gain with the turbo is more bottom end, more bottom end torque. Um, so I want more of a stock or a torque style cam. Um, so the motor I'm going to put in there, um, we'll have that. And, uh, yeah, then comes the, the fun part, getting it all tuned again. Um, I understand the tuning just enough to know that I should leave it to, the, to a professional. Um, I, I know it well enough to understand the consequences. And so I'm going to, I'm going to leave it be and, uh, have the same guy that tuned it last time do it. He did a real, a real nice job. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what it puts down. I'm really hoping to get, uh, a hundred horsepower to the ground. It's kind of my goal. And, uh, hopefully that's, hopefully that's doable. Um, I know I've shown it some in the past, but I've got my, uh, get this back where you can see. I've got my turbo manifold basically done. Um, and obviously the turbo bolts here and then the output flange, like where your, uh, your down pipe would go. This meets up to the turbo. And so I built this brace into that output flange um, just to reinforce it. Because this is with just one pipe kind of hanging out there by itself and the weight of the turbo going over rough terrain and uh, big bumps. 
I just didn't feel like that was going to be strong enough. Um, so this is a piece of 3 8 This is all stainless. I had It's all welded. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how to TIG weld, so I had someone else do this for me. Um, they did a real nice job. But I just got this um, reducer cone, so I need to have them weld that. And then I have a, a V-band flange to go on here that the downpipe will connect to. And, uh, you know, this project's taking forever, but I'm trying to take my time, make it nice, you know, and make it as reliable as I can. As I can. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Um, like I said, hopefully soon I'll be getting this motor swapped over and getting this going. Uh, I'm reaching the point right now, it's the beginning of March. And I have one trip planned um, early June. And that I definitely want this car to make it to. Um, I'm trying to do the um, Suzuki Con trip down to the uh, Rubicon Trail, big Suzuki group. I'm trying to get it done for that. Um, and I have a bunch of sand dune trips and stuff planned for the summer as well. And then the biggest thing I want the turbo done for is, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to the Hoopty Cross racing starting back up in the summer. This thing's gonna be a blast with some more power. I had a, had a really good time racing it this last summer, um, but it was slow. You know, more power the better. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, you got any questions on any of this stuff or uh or ideas or whatever um let me know and we'll catch you next time